Hello. Right. Moved on to some fuel injector testing. Now this contraption is in front of you, so I just knocked up um, because I want to test the injectors. See the injector there, the cage, these cage jets, these are the air shrouded ones. Um, so when the engine is running, you've got a bit of air coming past the injector just to make the fuel atomize a bit better. Um, those injectors are about, depending on where you're buying them, 40 to 50 quid, if not more. Um, I don't really want to be spending 150, 200 quid plus posting a set of injectors if I don't need to. Now these injectors are simple, very simple. Um, there's literally, I can zoom in, right, very simple. There's a filter inside there, a spring and a pintle. Um, these set off about three bar. Um, fuel, that is a, that's the Mark II Golf fuel pump. So these set off about three bar. So as soon as this gets three bar, this internal spring opens, that pin will moves, and as much fuel as it can physically go out, goes out. It's a filter inside, um, and if these work and flow right, I'm not going to waste some money buying them. I'll just clean them up, stick them back in with new seals, as in just the rubber seals on the outside, there and there. So what this is, I've had to sacrifice one of the K-Jet fuel lines just so it can go onto that pipe. That's the pump out of the car, which is genuine Bosch one, which I'll probably get a new one just so I know it's good, but... I might do. I'll just see how it goes testing these and see how it flows if it can flow right. Um, that's the original pipe work off the pump to the accumulator. That's a bit of hose. And that's a K jet pipe into the injector. So wires off there. Do the do multimeter and this is my chosen power source. So it is an 18 volt battery. Um, those pumps need to be getting a good 12 volt solid feed, if not more. To get them to work perfect so if you're having fueling issues in your k-jets um and you're not you haven't got a decent 12 volt there that's you need to start there um that battery is slightly flat so it's is about 16 16 and a half volts um so what i'm doing there is literally plug, plug that on there once that's switched on that pump kicks in and hoofs out that's just thin isn't there okay um so the way i'm doing this is the fuel, the fitness is going to obviously hoof out there into the bottle um, and I'm going to time it over a minute, see how much comes out per injector over a minute. So all the injectors should be bang on the same as each other. Um, I can also see the spray pattern. So you haven't got one that's got maybe a clog filter so it's not getting a good clean spray pattern. Um, and also, once I've done the minute test on it, I'm then going to um, literally just get that bottle out of the way and put a bit of clean paper under there. Because what these have a habit with is dripping as well. Um, so the spring that sits inside there can weaken. Come on, zoom in. There we go. Um, yeah, the spring that sits inside there can weaken. So when you turn your car off, out of the shops, whatever. Not going to work. Anyway, yeah, there's a spring inside. Um, if that spring's weak, and then the pressure, the residual pressure that stays in the lines can actually cause that to drip fuel into the cylinder, um, which is what you don't want. So this sort of testing is twofold, really. Um, oh, it's actually threefold in a way. Um, the thinners going through it are just going to clean any shit out of it. Pardon my language. Um, so it's going to be as clean as it can be. Um, checking the flow rate so they're getting even. All the injectors are flowing over a minute the same as each other. Um, and then once, I'm going to turn them off, once the pressure's in there, so you're going to have Probably once I turn it off, the injector closes, so you're going to have just under three bars sat in there. Um, I don't want that injector leaking, any nozzle leaking, because um, if that starts leaking, um, that's going to be dripping in your cylinder, and then you're going to have starting issues. Um, so yeah, I'll get on with um, testing some of these and see how it gets on. So that's the first injector tested and happy days. Um, I have had to change that from, I did say I was going to run that for 60 seconds. That's before I test it. It takes, t that's full up. That's about, um, what they're measuring, 600 milliliters in that tub. Uh, that drains out in like 10 seconds. Um, so that shows how good that pump is. Um, so yeah, I've run the injectors for 10 sec. well that injector for 10 seconds and it's flown, um, 190 millilitres approximately 
Um, I'm just using those cut to measure it. They are calibrated sort of um, cups you get painting. Um, and I've left it for two minutes. Um, so as soon as the pump's cut off, all these lines, everything's all full of pressure still. Um, and that's not even dripped anything. So I've put a bit of paper there, bone dry. So that injector is perfectly fine to use again. So it's just going to get a clean up, um, new seals in it and bang, that'll go straight in. I'll get the other ones tested. So that's all four injectors um, squirted through. Um, the only one was injected four, which is slightly lower than the rest, but it's just an approximate, so not too fussed on that, the injectors are pretty old. None of them have got any drips, which is the main thing. Um, can do as well. I put clean thinners in that pump, in that water in there, that looks yellow because the filter on the actual bottom of the pump's in there. It's all fresh stuff, and after going through four injectors, um, and come through the pump, that's how dirty it is. So it's a good indication of um, how a bit of cleaning as well. So I know the injectors are mapping enough to stick back in, so I'll just give them a clean up on the external bits, um, new seals, and then I'm happy to fit those. So um, all that's cost me uh, nothing to do. Um, obviously don't try this at home unless you know what you're doing. Um, obviously I had a battery there, that stuff is flammable. Um, Things could have gone wrong, safety glasses on, all that sort of good stuff. But um, if you're not comfortable doing this stuff, don't try and make it. Um, unless you want to, it's up to you. So, um, yeah, that pump seems really good as well, really strong, um, good flow on it. So um, I probably won't buy a new one, I'll stick that in there, see how it goes. Um, so, yeah, I can get that back in, get that done. Um, yeah, so injectors up with those, so it just needs more seals and they can go in. So uh, that's an easy way to test K-Jet injectors. Like I say, that yeah, I've had to sacrifice one pipe, but I'm going to put new ones on anyway. Um, that pipe's off the car, pumps out the car, it's going to go back in. That was just a bit of rubber hose, fuel hose, jubilee clips on it. That was a little adapter I had um, laying around, which um, luckily fit the threads in there. Um, all I had to do was get a grinder on the other end of it, take all the threads off so it was actually a bit thinner, so the hose had gone to it. Um, so yeah, simple as that. So um, yeah, that's another thing ticked off the list. Thanks for watching. Cheers.